Hello everyone and welcome to Ice on ASMR with Misha Shivers and Michael, what did you say your T. name was? Michael Shutters? Michael T. Shutters. T. Shutters, of course. There are so many Michael Shutters out there, I have to keep the middle initial to make sure that I'm not confused with the popular soccer player, Michael T. Shutters. Right, that's, that's a common problem. Mm. Anyway, um, welcome back to our Minecraft world that we've started here. We've gotten a little bit of practice and hopefully should be uh, doing a little better this time around. For one thing, I have turned off uh, enemies. So we will not be encountering any skeletons or creepers or zombies or zombie children or uh, you, endermen, Ernest. sadly. But uh, so that, anything, that'll make it... Hmm? Any murder will be on our terms. Yes. Speaking of which, on peaceful mode, you don't have to eat anything. So we don't have to kill any more animals. So it just won't be exciting at all. It's like being dead. But maybe it'll um, be relaxing. Unless we want to murder them. Yeah, exactly. On our terms, sure. All right. Now, we had... Now, I'm confused here because I thought we had set our spawn points. Uh, we We tried playing around a, a different night and just testing out the world and everything, and I thought we had set our spawn points so we appeared back at that other area, but now we're back to this cave. How did we magic that? Oh, this is a... What you're thinking of is not the last ASMR video we recorded, but an entirely different... Uh, it was a whole different world. Like, it was on creative mode. It was a whole different thing. This is, this is back... Um, to the world that we made our first video in. How how many, but we're on the same realm, right? Yes, we can have three worlds per realm. Ah, okay. What is the name of this world? I just called it Ice on ASMR. Uh, I don't think what the was... name even shows up for you. So Got it, I don't, I don't okay. It's just something that you control. Yeah. All right. Well, I will let you guide away then. Okay, well, should we uh, take the new viewers on a little tour of our of our escapades here? Sure. Uh, uh, let's see. If um, I'm trying to think for digging, I guess I have a pickaxe that has a little bit of energy left in it. And I also, I'm going to try to be a better guide here. I... I I, I am used to console games, and I'm used to being able to control uh, where I'm looking and having it not look all herky-jerky, um, so... Honestly, I, I think you did pretty well. I, I watched the video, and I was entertained by it. It was also kind of fun seeing myself from the third person, so I, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Michael is still learning how to play a, a Minecraft, uh, as, yeah. and still learning ASMR, I guess, but he's he's already pretty good at that part. I am, I am also learning how to play ASMR, yes. <laughs> um, so, okay, we set up just a little home in a cave here. We were pressed for time because there were bad guys running around, so uh, we didn't do any elaborate construction or anything. There's a door up there that we were able to block the enemies from getting in. We've built a couple stoves, uh, ovens, and or furnaces, whatever they are, and a chest, and a crafting table, and I taught Michael how to build a couple of things, right? Um, you were able yeah. to build a furnace. Yeah. Do you know how to build any tools yet? No. Here, why don't I give you some materials and you can build I'll, I'll show you how to build some tools there's some sticks and some iron okay so okay. you bring those over to the crafting table and if you want to build a uh, an iron pickaxe you will take your iron ingots and place one on each of the top three squares done 
and you'll take a stick and put put one in the middle and one on the bottom middle. Oh, so it kind of makes a pickaxe, I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, how do I start it going? Oh, it's already made, I see. Got it. Clever, clever Minecraft. <laughs> so that's the pickaxe, and you can also make a shovel by putting the sticks in the same arrangement and just putting one iron ingot in the top in the middle. If I had a shovel, la 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 la. Okay, this is so strange because uh, I got used to creative mode where you just grabbed anything you wanted at any time. Right, that's that's easy mode. This is this is hardcore survival mode. Right, that was like white privilege mode. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. I am, as Skix like to say, likes to say, the default setting. So. <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> speaking of feminism, did you watch the Peaches video for Rub? Oh, that's the one that I didn't watch. I was watching a whole bunch of other Peaches videos, and I I missed that one. But the one that I sent you. <laughs> yeah, no, I I I didn't I didn't see that one yet. I I want to have hours of conversation about that video. Let me ask, does it is it is it suitable for our ASMR video? The video itself, no, but talk about the video, certainly. Okay, all right. Um okay, going down the stairs here, we found this uh, cave area that's actually pretty extensive and we haven't explored it all yet. I know last time we wanted to, well, I wanted to go explore the mine shaft we found. Do you want to go do that? Right, you found some wood that excited you greatly. <laughs> yes, I did. This and, way. And uh, you, you made you made the lava over there safe so mm -hmm. that we wouldn't fall in unless we tried very hard. Oh, there's some redstone. Oh yeah, that was the red redstone you couldn't mine without an oran uh, iron pickaxe. Uh, uh, which you have now, so you could if you wanted to. Well, I think you gave me an iron pickaxe earlier, too, so... Okay, good. Then we're Is that... Set. Maybe this isn't an iron... Okay, wait, that one's definitely iron. There we go. Aha! I can program now. Am I a developer yet, Misha? You are whatever you believe yourself to be in your heart. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go there. All right. Okay, so, so we've got a, uh, uh, we found a mine cart here with a chest in it. It's got some bread, some pumpkin seeds, and some coal. We actually need some coal because we're running low. So I will did grab you, those. Did you, did you make this or did you just find this? No, we just found this. This, this is one of the things we'll, we've stumbled upon here in this Mine shaft. See, there's a little railroad that the mine cart was on. Ah, uh, this is like an Indiana Jones scene. What are you what are you trying to accomplish by moving it around? Just kind of showing you that it can move around. <laughs> but uh here, let's oh I've uh you've you've taken the mine cart, I think. Oh I I took it? Yeah. I did not mean to take it. Uh well, you can let's have see. it if you want. Escape is inventory. What's or, I mean, escape is options. E is inventory. Yeah. Uh, I don't see him. Oh, there we go. Minecart. How do I drop things? Well, you can hang on oh, to it for I now can, if you I want. I can throw it, right? You can oh, throw it, or you can just pick it up from your inventory screen and click it off the inventory screen. Oh, I... I don't... I don't understand. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, I gotcha. All right. Um... But I will carry around a minecart with raw chicken in it, and I hit E instead of W to try to walk, so that didn't work out so well. <laughs> I see. Okay, we've reached a little bit of the fork in the tunnel here, so let's see, left or right? Let's go left. No, you always take right in a labyrinth. 
I uh, or left. You you just have to be consistent. I I don't believe that left would work out. It. Wh what it, are you? You just have what to. What are you making a pit trap for? We don't have enemies anymore. I I found some iron. Just just hang on. It won't be a pit uh, trap in a second. Are you are you making punji sticks down there? Punji sticks. I old Vietnam thing. Oh, oh it yeah, looks, that's... It looks like they're, the name above your head made it look like there was a sign. I found my calling with making signs. You the, really uh, did, and you're very good at it. This is so... If we tunnel up, is there, like, an entire amusement park uh, with... Uh, Roller coaster tracks and wood beneath it. Well, presumably this this uh, mine shaft was actually used for mining rather than amusement, so probably not. Uh, Is it, was this like a dwarven stronghold? Is that racist? I don't. I don't think you can be racist about dwarves in any sort of meaningful way. Uh, but hey, look! I've I started digging up some coal and I found. Um, I found a, another area, so this is this is fun. Now, is there? Now we we can't we don't have enemies anymore, so no zombies are going to appear. But if I fall in lava, am I still okay? No, you will die if you fall in lava. All right, and there's hot a bat. lava or otherwise. But, and and is that bad? Want to be our friend, or is he like? You can to steal kill it if essence? you want to, but he's not going to hurt us, even if we were in enemies mode. They just kind of squeak and fly around. Pretty cute, uh, actually. Okay, there's nothing in this direction. I've got you trapped. <laughs> ah. No. Okay, so yeah, okay, lock so that up. Forget we ever saw this. <laughs> Actually, this is something that, so what I do in Mineshaft so as not to, like, get completely uh, irreparably lost is to, I'll, I'll block up the places that I've been already, um, and, like, it, that I've taken all the resources from so that I don't go down the same tunnel, like, multiple times looking for things. But when you dig down a tunnel, how do you know, oh, this is one I blocked up versus this is one that's just... A block. Well, if you if you move out of the way, I will demonstrate. Uh, basically, I'll put something there, and first of all, cobblestone uh, is not you don't find that naturally except in uh, only a few cases. So you'll never find cobblestone like this unless a player put it there. So that is different than that. Um, I'm not sure what you pointed to. Okay. Okay. Look. There's me pointing straight ahead, and that's different than that. Yes, yes. This is this is stone here, and this is cobblestone. Do you see the different texture? Let's just pretend that I'll say yes here. Okay, well, see, what happens is when you go ahead and, and break this block of stone right here. When you break it, oh, wait, that was kind of useless. When you break it, it turns into cobblestone. So it basically becomes this more artificial material. And now when I put it there, can you see that the uh, texture is different? It looks like we've just started mining on one of these. Yeah, a little bit. It looks, it's got cracks in it and stuff because we broke it apart, I suppose. Yeah, all right, okay. Okay. Lesson over. Oh, and now we've got a. Oh, I found some coal over here. I'll get that. But we've got a couple directions we could go in. Do I have any? Oh, hey, I have torches. Um, probably need the torches out more than sticks. Aha. So now we're probably not going to come across any... Oh, I just had one torch. I miss creative mode. Uh, <laughs> this will make probably... you appreciate it more, right? Yeah. We're probably not 
going to find any dead bodies down here or anything? Um, possibly not, but they're always adding new stuff to the game, and it's been a while since I've played, so I actually... We, we could find new stuff that I don't know about. Yeah, that would be kind of fun. I, I mean, it hasn't been terribly long since I've played, since we played last week, but I mean, um, I used to play seriously, like, uh, hours every week. Um, how many torches do you have? I have six, but I could make several more. Do you need more? Do you want to learn how All to right. make your own? Uh, sure. Okay. Here's some coal. Here's some more sticks. Um, you don't need a crafting table to make torches. All you have to do is uh, take a stick and put it underneath one coal, and that will mm -hmm. give you some torches. Okay, so subdivide my coal out. Oh, I in my little crafting thing up here? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, it's like a crafting table. It's just a lot smaller. Which is why the okay. crafting table is useful. Now for the love of seriously. Okay, hold on. Hang on. This is apparently much more difficult. Than... Oh, I see. That gives you four. Okay, good. Stick over here. Those. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna make. Can I just put tons? Okay, wait. It goes on tons. The coal. Think of I'm... it like, like how you'd build a torch. You'd put the, uh, the fuel on the top, and then you'd hold it with the stick. I would not be making torches. This oh, I see. Let's just be honest. Okay, okay. Okay, in the apocalypse, there, you can come hang out with me. I'll make some torches for you. This, uh, my character is like, seems like he or she has some sort of, uh, oh, some sort of nervous disorder, the way that, like, any move I make in inventory, they have to, oops, they have to. They have to look around at what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they want to see what you're doing. Like, why don't you trust me? I'm not going to feed you the bats. Okay, so we've gone this direction, so I'm gonna... I swear I can hear lava around here somewhere. You, you might. Um, I don't know if lava has a noise, but you might be able to hear something. Sometimes when there's just an empty room nearby, you'll be able to hear, like, ambiance from the next room over, like, the empty space will make some sort of noise. Uh, I have somehow lost you. Oh, I should point out, I am trying out a new mic tonight, so hopefully, uh, this doesn't sound horrible. Um, it's cheaper than my normal mic, but it's also got earphones, and so it allows me to uh, to play this and and be a little less herky jerky. That's why I can I can do that now. I have no idea where you are. I oh, just keep you... going up up and down. I fear God. That was scary. What? What? Me? Yeah. Oh. You I'm and your ninja spooky. outfit. Ah. But yeah. So hopefully that will work out well, and we're also. Trying out a different sound option with you. Yes, hopefully to have a little bit better audio quality. And I noticed that my ASMR bedside manner in the last video was not uh, impeccable. So I am trying to improve that this time around. Um, if you are watching this and you have any suggestions or input, let us know in the comments. I've always enjoyed your bedside manner. Oh, well, thank you. Um, okay, you're just destroying things now. I'm harvesting things. There is a slight difference. You've gone mad with power. <laughs> no, you haven't seen that yet. I'm, I am now, uh, just, I have so many 
torches that that's that's what I'm doing now. Oh good. You're you're making torches Whoa. or putting them? Um well I I made like twenty four when I was crafting, so now I'm I accidentally just put two there, but I guess we're really well lit now. Oh, I hear water. Hmm. My sound is down pretty low. I don't hear much. Um, so I found one of these other tunnels, but I don't think we need to enter it from here. I think we can probably get to it from another area. So what I'm going to do is block this area off as an area that we've explored, if that's all right with you. Um, no, I have, I have a lot of problems with that plan. Well, you'll want to take your torches with you is, is one of the things. Yeah. Okay. I. How do I pick them up? You break them. Oh, that got very dark. Okay. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say there. It's, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4 lately, and whenever you come up to someone like this and move forward, you push the other person in that game, and so I'm very confused by the fact that you keep running through me. Well, I'll try not to if it's uh, disconcerting. It might break the immersion or whatever anyway, although I'm not sure how much of that you can have with these kind of graphics, although I don't know. I don't, I don't know that graphic quality necessarily like how how much of an immersion factor is the graphics quality you think i think scott mcleod would argue that uh characters like this are easier to immerse yourself with than something like say a fallout i guess i guess with a fallout or a dragon age or something like that the idea is that you uh, can choose a ton of details so that you're interacting with a character that you feel like you can relate to because you've created it but with this um you know mcleod argued that the closer you get to abstractionism the easier it is to relate because everything about it is what you're imprinting on it that's why he feels the smiley face is so popular that that actually makes a lot of sense to me like if i spend a lot of time creating the look of a character in Fallout, I, I kind of feel like they're their own separate character, like the character in a novel. Whereas this, uh, where Minecraft is so simple or so default, it's much more, um, and, and the, I guess the way that the game is played as well contributes, but it's this is definitely much more me taking these actions than the character taking the actions. If, we're, I mean, we're do you agree? We're going to discuss sign, signifier, and object next, aren't we? We, uh, I, I probably know what those are, but not by those names. Hmm. Oh, I'm trying to remember who that was. Was that Foucault? I don't think so. Derrida, maybe? Um, I think somebody French who, uh, who argued that there are three levels to reality. There's essentially... If, if I say chair, there's what I'm meaning as chair, there's what you as the listener are seeing in your head when I say chair, and then there is the actual chair that is being discussed, or if it's not a, an actual chair, then the, I, the platonic idea of chair, essentially. I would not immediately categorize that as part of reality. I would just describe that as like the mechanics of language. Sure. Uh... This was, I learned about this in a class on Mimesis, uh, about how language and fiction captures reality. Hmm. I, I think the original person was maybe talking about it in a sense of what is real or what have you, but we were talking about it in the context of uh, how to, uh, to frame a mimetic dialogue or what have you now when you say mimetic that you're not that's not mimetic right like is that uh what, what is what is m m m i m e t i c okay. yeah that's not the word i'm thinking of what does that word mean 
Mimesis is just literally how one chooses to represent reality in a work of fiction. Oh. So, for instance, Lars von Trier with uh, something like Dogville. Have, have you seen that? I haven't. Um, uh, he and some other directors uh, and possibly playwrights did this like manifesto that they were going to attempt uh, a new way of, of filmmaking. It's close to Altman's sort of cinema verite, uh, except taken to an extreme level where they said, you know, a story is all that matters, essentially. And so they, uh, Dogville is this movie with, um, oh, I, I think it's Nicole Kidman, like a very big name actress. And it is like he, it's literally filmed like in a, uh, like what looks like a high school um, ball game court, a uh, uh, basketball court with, um, uh, with tape on the ground to signify like house and things like that. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And then told so the story got... through those uh, like abstract, uh, what would that be, a signifier or an object? Um, that would not be an object. That would be a sign. That would be the signs that he chose to use. The the sig. If, if I'm, uh, I could be using the terms. I could be using the wrong terms altogether. I'm sure some good philosophers will uh, respond and uh, tell me how completely wrong I am on all of this because we're talking nearly 20 years ago now that I'm talking back to. I would back be here. delighted if we got anybody commenting about this particular subject. Like, even if, whether you know anything about philosophy or not, please comment. That would be fun. Uh, I am being carried away by water and I lost you. Um, oh, I'm there you are. Okay. Away by water. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's, um, um, I find it, I find it fascinating. I mean, that's why I took a, are, are you going up the water? Yes. Uh, I'm okay. I'm, um, I'm actually just trying to block off the water at its source so that we're not swept away by it. Hmm. Um, yeah, I find, I find the whole idea of representing reality and the choices we make to do so to other people and language in general, just kind of fascinating. I mean, it's all that Noam, Com Noam Chomsky horseshit, right? Um, oh, please, uh, please elaborate. Which, which, which horseshit are you referring to? The idea that beneath, uh, beneath all languages, there is a kind of er language that we all share, a kind of need to communicate mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, things that things that all babies do no matter what language they end up speaking and so on and so forth so here's a question is that we, if that's the case is that a function of our biology or of our sentience and is would could they ever be separate do you think uh you the last part broke up on me there is that a function of our biology or sentience tensions sentience like our our consciousness our into intellect i believe chomsky would argue the latter uh i really just kind of watched um, a video on that um, which kind of made it sink in less um, um i mean it's you know i don't think there's any necessary way of uh, telling for sure, right? Not yet, certainly, until we... Get better uh, microscopes? Yeah, or, I mean, encounter... Because we, we are basically our only da data point when it comes to uh, like, c creatures that can co communicate in complex, uh, ab abstract ways. Like, we can, we can communicate abstract ideas, and as far as we know, we're the only creatures that can. So until we encounter another organism or other type of um, being that, that can communicate in another way, we're not going to know pretty much anything about our... We're, we won't have anything to compare our own symbolic behaviors to. Sure, yeah. Have you read uh, The Sparrow? No, no, I haven't. Trying to remember 
the name of the author. I know it's a uh, female author, and I believe she has three names, uh, like Doris something, maybe Donna. Oh, well, and, uh, maybe neither of those. But in any case, uh, The Sparrow is a science fiction novel about uh, essentially the perils of xenolinguistics. Perils of it. What kind yeah. of perils? Um, kind of the um, how there is a, a danger in assuming that uh, that there is this universal language, and how a uh, visitor to uh, a, the, the a kind of first contact with another world ends up not not going well because of uh, misunderstandings. I mean, hmm. coming out of there? Is yes, that yeah. Usually when I'm I'm waiting for you to move out of the way. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Well, that, that sounds interesting. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take a look at that. It has a uh, sequel called Children of God, which is god-awfully horrible. Don't, oh, don't read that. That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But one of the things that I really liked about it that I thought just made a lot of sense. There's a spider web. I had a spider web in uh, my uh, my room that I made in our oh, other yeah. world. Um, one of the things that I really liked about it was uh, essentially, you know, through SETI or Arecibo or something like that, uh, we we get a response, right? And mm -hmm. um, and while all of the kind of world governments are debating and doing all this stuff to try to figure out who's going to go first um, to make first contact, the Catholic Church just quickly and like without any fuss um, uh, grabs the money together to build a spaceship and gets a team together and is off and going in like two weeks. Why the Catholic Church? It's a, it's, um, it's a chance to spread the word and to, uh, you oh, know, right. it's, it's kind of the, like, the Catholic Church and the whole Jesuit sort of love of knowledge and finding out new, uh, ways to communicate and things like that. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. I, to me, I, I thought it made a lot, oh, there's that lava. Uh, I thought it made a lot of sense and I thought it was, uh really fun way to um, to approach that. And that was the one you told me to read or the not the one not to read? Uh, well, I mean, one's a sequel to the other, so it's both. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's basically the first one. This is the Minecraft ASMR book review you're listening to. Yes. We've got philosophy book reviews. We're doing a lot of stuff right here. Oh, I don't want to close that up yet. Um, although I am starting to get a little lost, so maybe we should um, re uh, follow our tracks back and um, re regather, or basically re. What's the word? Um, regroup. Regroup. That's, I don't think that's the oh. word I was looking for, but that's, that's fine. Oh. Oh no. It just I says just lost you connection. left the game. Uh oh. oh Connecting to are. the realm. Yep. Okay. Here we go. That was scary. Um, since we're recording on my end, uh, everyone will get to see that. Sorry about that. Um, now is it still recording your video? I hope so. It didn't kick you out of the game entirely. It just kicked you out of the right. Game. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Keep taking the light, and I, um, um, I get lost. Oh yes, because we used it as basically as breadcrumbs. Uh. I can't see anything. Just follow the light again. No, no. I, but the, this way. the light, the light goes out. No, it goes this the, way. When the light comes out, it goes out 
See, I don't see any light down here. Um, really? Okay, there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, there's some light. Even. Where are you? Okay, there you are. All right. Okay. We're back to this room that used to have water in it. It's weird that the um, everything looks different. Without the water? Yeah. Or no, I mean, like the ground is bluer. Oh, that was, we were walking on obsidian for a second. Is that what you were referring to? Uh, perhaps. I assume that was like water color. Yeah, what happens is when there's a pool of lava and uh, water falls on it, it turns the lava into obsidian. I see. I don't remember being this close to lava on the way We over. weren't. Um, but We've accidentally uh, found a new area. Yeah. See, I don't. I, I think you will be surprised when you watch this how dark it gets for me. Um, you can adjust your brightness settings. That might be the issue, or maybe mine are set too high. Okay, everybody, enjoy some brightness settings. Is that controls? Uh, video settings. Here we go. Graphics, fancy. Um, here we go. Brightness, moody. Turn it up above that. I'm going to put it at 50 and see how that looks. Oh, there's view bobbing. I wonder if that's the my character looking around like some sort of twitchy, twitchy drug addicted bad person. No, now, how is it that I turn and you disappear? I'm up. No, I'm upstairs. I'm behind you now. You gotta, you gotta look up. Did you? Did we build these stairs? Oh yes. yeah, we're going back, huh? Wow, I really got lost there. <laughs> it happens. Oh yeah, I can start to hear uh, cows again. <laughs> 